What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are good. It's absolutely freezing here in Ireland, man. But we are back with another Thursday roundup of everything new or everything rinse and repeated, depending on how you look at it now every Thursday and Monday with the content drop or the cards drop, right? So there's a couple of things to talk about. Obviously, we've got the downloads campaign. You've got Palmer that's in as well as a 700 million downloads campaign reward. Bit of a strange choice, to be honest. Obviously not if you're a Chelsea fan, but it is a strange choice. Obviously, they probably, I would say, wanted to get him in as the player of the weeks, and uh, they probably just decided to give him uh, in here instead, right? So we also have the worldwide clubs. We also have another worldwide clubs. We've got a lot of these things here. If you have scored all of your penalties as well, and you haven't missed any days of logging in, unlike me, you will also have your chance at getting Maradona or whoever you didn't get already, right? So Palmer is here, he's down as a right midfielder. He doesn't have an in-game face, which is a bit of a pity. Uh, he looks like a generic kind of player. Um, but his stats aren't too bad. I mean, obviously you can't really do much with his additional skills and you can't retrain him, but he does have a booster plus three to his technique, which is tied to his player update. So similar to Salah last week, it's not a bad card at all, really, for free. I mean, what they've tried to do, I think, lads, is really kind of give cards that people are just able to compete with straight off the rip, you know, without having to kind of invest too much into the game, without having to invest too much time, and just basically be able to pick up and play with some fairly saucy players, right? Because you have, apart from his balance here, which is a bit of a letdown, you have a really good central midfielder here, um, or else a right winger, right midfielder, kind of hybrid, right? Yeah. Ball control is nice, dribbling is nice, tight possession is nice, low passing is nice, he's also got 80 finishing, and the acceleration is always going to be nice once it's past the 90. And then, of course, he does have also got these player skills, which aren't the best, plus you can't give him any, but yeah, that's enough time spent on him. He's not a great card, actually, looking at him there. We also have the freebies continuing to roll in with the chance deals and the login bonuses and all of these. If you haven't claimed any rewards, you can just do so there. We do have the daily game. So depending on how many goals you've scored, I think I've missed two days um, where I was actually away with work and I wasn't able to log in and I couldn't get the misses to log in for me. But yeah, not to be dissuaded. We will have one of these players tomorrow because we've only got, what, four, four uh, spots left. So we will have a chance on this profile tomorrow uh, to get the worldwide uh, player here so this is going to be uh, because we already got Kobel in the first one or Kobel this is going to be a good player I hope it's not Ronaldo because there's so many Ronaldo cards but Costa Corta Maradona will definitely be additions even to this really so, uh, good squad that I have here at the moment my main squad so on to what we have then today as I already said with the match uh, or the events or any of these here we do have new events, or whatever way you want to call them, right? These events now are kind of being split between coins and also being able to actually earn events and stuff like that. So this one here is going to be the co-op event. Um, it's pretty much the same as normal, but there is coins up for grabs as the ultimate prize. So they've kind of switched it up a bit. Uh, 500 coins are going to be the reward there. When you create a room, you just obviously can go in and just play. It doesn't really make a difference. But yeah, there are all the events uh, rewards there. So you get 500 coins. Uh, or five, 50 coins for 500 points and then you get your GP and then there's another 50 points when you get to 3,000 uh, 50 coins when you get to 3,000 points so listen it's it's fine man it's it's going to be the way it is I think unless they drop things like completely switch things around the next time right we also have with this one here the unlimited um, that's kind of switched up a little bit as well that there is no coins in that one there um, it's just going to be XP but in the next round it is going to be the coins and then the Turkish clubs you've also got your skill trainers there um, which again is kind of tied to whatever team you pick here now you can change this it doesn't make a difference but if you've only started the game I would definitely recommend doing the events you get a load of cool rewards such as coins you get all your players for free that you're able to use within the event so it costs you nothing and you can just jump straight in and then of course obviously we still have the English clubs ongoing you also have these ones offline so you have the Turkish clubs and the European clubs and usually you get your free player of the week with one of these which is the Turkish club so the player of the week lads right I think I've been disappointed with the player of the weeks over the last couple of months um I do feel that there is a lot of stuff that they need to add to this game including the eFootball point store which hasn't really been updated with strips uh, with items any of that a lot of this needs to be retaught i think because now the game is in a different place with the players and how many people are playing and how successful this game is in terms of a product that i think they need to really kind of get into the nitty itty gritty of it 
Um, there is a couple of issues here as well, but it's more so just about like little small bits and pieces that they announced ages ago. I just never clicked into that. They haven't said that they've worked on them or whatever, but as usual, it's going to be all about the cards, which is what most people are probably here for. So the big one, I think this week is going to be player of the week, De Bruyne and Vinicius Jr. So we did actually predict yesterday in our video, we did actually predict one of these here, two, three, four five so we did actually get five of the players here uh antonio silva was a good shout i probably should have guessed him as well um we have lartaro martinez he's had a load of them i'll do a proper review of all of these i think obviously De Bruyne is going to be the man that to look at here he's got a plus three pass and booster that's tied to his live data update so on a form he's going to have a base start in a uh, base in-game rating of 94 and 97 for his passive which is going, to, is going to be 96 and 99 with the manager boost which is extraordinary his acceleration speed are not too bad lads if you do end up getting him i think this de Bruyne is going to be very usable in an attack and midfielder position that's kind of where i would use him very good player skills as well soul control he's also got super sub i think this could become one of the most unique super subs in the game but we'll get into a full review of him in a little bit you also have Vinicius Jr. who's got a booster. So I do definitely think they are actually taking heed of what they need to do with the player of the week now and have maybe five or six bad players in it. I don't mean bad players, but like players that don't really stand out and then have one or two really, really good players. I mean, you've got Vinicius Jr. here with double touch, flip flap and soul control. It's going to be a ball roll Vinicius Jr. Very silky. We haven't had a beastly version of Vinicius Jr. in a while. And this plus three to his shooting for his booster when he's on A rating is going to mean that he's going to have 95 finishing. His tie possession is going to be over 85, which is nice. His balance and acceleration are going to be nice as well. His speed is going to be in the 90s. This looks like a very dominant goal poacher card. And especially the fact that he has got this booster, I think that puts him into a different, different level um, than a, a normal card would be. And that's what they need to do with the player of the weeks. We also have Donnarumma, we have Romani. This guy also gets a booster. He's going to get physicality plus three, which is nice. He's got blocker, he's got man marking, he's got aerial superiority. He doesn't have interception, but that is not a huge deal on a card that is down as a CB extra frontman. I do like the fact that his physical contact is so high. It's going to be kind of a unique card, but whether or not you use him or not is going to be up to you if you spin. So listen, I would recommend as always, lads, you know, get your free spin through the event to see who you get. You could be looking at the Bruyne or, the Vic or Vinicius Jr. Um, other than that, I do think that Donnarumma is going to be a fine card as well. Obviously, his stats aren't as good if you were to get just a standard Donnarumma card, unless you place a lot of importance in reach. I don't for a goalkeeper this tall. Um, but the rest of the cards, Silva looks like a beastly player as well. He's a build-up player. I do like this card. I've had him on my other profile. Um, in terms of the Turkish players, lads, I honestly don't think that you know these guys obviously you have to put a bit of investment into them and train them up you've got Zaha uh the Mirabe Kent um you've got a Balotelli in there as well you've got a couple of players in here that are pretty decent Getson is always a good card um for kind of a defensive uh or an attack in center midfielder box to box he's a good card but I think that these Turkish cards unless you're getting a few of them for free are not really going to be worth it yes you can train them up but a lot of people kind of get obsessed with stats and they're like, oh, do you see that this guy goes to a 96 with like 90 plus finishing, 90 plus passing? And it's like, yeah, but are you going to actually use him? You know, how usable is he within a system and a formation that you want in terms of player skills, in terms of how he performs, in terms of his stats, in terms of whether or not you have a player in his same position that can do the same job for you? And it's only a, a personal choice whether you play this guy or spin for these guys. So we will do a review on these as well. As well as everything else going on there, we did get a look ahead as to what's coming on Monday. We do have our free ones here that we can spin for as well. Um, we will open them up just to end this video and see who we do get. Uh, but I would probably say, unless we get someone here, we're probably not going to get anybody. But we have 20 spins in total of these. So it would be nice if you get at least one legend. But knowing my luck, I probably won't. Marosic is not going to cut the mustard. But yeah, I would like Torres. I would like Parchi Sung. Uh, Van Basten, I'm not really too interested in, to be fair. Uh, let me skip this, lads. I waste time. Henrique. So it's probably going to be the last, you know, maybe three or four spins that you get. I'm tempted to just leave this after today. We've only opened six packs, so it's not going to be, you know, unusual if we don't get anybody in this, even with 20 players. I've often gone very deep for a player pack, so... 
But that is it, lads. There's nothing really else there going on. A couple of bits and pieces um, that you can get for free. And obviously all your rewards and that. But let me know if you guys did get Maradona, Costa Corta or Ronaldo in this daily game. Let me know what the crack is. We'll be back streaming very, very, very soon. We'll probably be on in about two hours from the time this video goes up. Around 12pm UK time. So yeah, two hours from now. Until then, I will see you in the stream. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you spun for any of these players and uh, we can have a chat about in the live stream later.